guys and thank you so much for tuning into today's daily energy so guys i know it's late it's like 2 p.m right now uh my sleep schedule has been all messed up because of this whole staying home thing but it's tourist season so i wasn't gonna miss the first day of that all right so happy birthday to all my taurians it is our season let's see what's going on for today's daily energy now guys this is a collective energy for every sign at the end i will be doing some pick a cards so that'll be your own personalized advice okay What is Monday, April 20th, daily energy, 420. Let's be productive now so we don't have to be productive later. All right. This deck I'm using, guys, is Light Sears Tarot. All right, so we have the Judgment card, the Tower card in the reverse, and we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So the energy here is the King of Swords in the reverse. With having these two sword energies in the reverse, there's definitely a very reckless energy that I feel could be happening today. But in this case, someone does something reckless, but it's good and it causes something really good to come into your life. Um, so really interesting. So something that's seen as reckless, something where a person might even seem very like selfish for doing it where they're not really thinking about anyone else but it's something that has a very very positive effect so why is this judgment card here we have the emperor why is this tower card in the reverse here we have the hermit card in the reverse all right and why is this hermit card uh i mean i'm sorry this knight of swords in the reverse here we have the ten of swords in the reverse so guys this is amazing because somebody is taking a huge leap with something where it could seem very selfish and whoever's jumping into this it could seem like they're not even 100 percent ready to jump into this but it ends up being a really really good thing so i don't even see this as a bad reckless i think that this is just something that's really out of the norm for somebody or it could look a little bit reckless for them but Honestly, you guys are in a place where if anything bad has been happening lately or if you've been through any sort of harsh endings or any sense of betrayal, it's showing that that's really behind you and you're listening to your soul. There's something that you're working on where it's meant for you and it's here for you. And for some of you, you might be doing this in silence, okay? But it shows that you dodge a bullet by doing this. It might seem a little reckless, but with this emperor energy you're going to do what's best for you you're going to be very logical about this and again even if it's something that um you don't fully know about you're going to jump into it you're going to learn you're going to do what you need to to fully be equipped for this um but someone is really coming out of their shells so that's amazing guys all right so think of a card one two or three now I always suggest to listen to all three cards because it's going to be advice for today but pay most attention to the one that you guys pick So think of a card, one, two, or three. All right. The nine of swords in the reverse popped out while I was shuffling, so you're really in a place guys just everyone's in a place where it's like you don't even want to worry you don't want to be anxious you're gonna jump into something even if you don't feel like you're 100 percent equipped you're still gonna make it happen all right we have one two and three all right guys so if you chose card number one we have the judgment card in the reverse now at the bottom of the deck again this is going to be for everyone guys with the tower card something big is changing here when you see the judgment card reverse you're realizing that something is just not good for you and it's not something that you see yourself going back to so let's see why this is your advice we have the page of swords and you have the devil card so today it's a you guys are having a very honest conversation whether it's with someone else whether it's with yourself and you're in a place where you're saying look something was toxic for me and i know that it is and i'm not doing that anymore so you guys are really backing away from that with the five of swords in the reverse you don't want to fight you don't want to argue you don't want any conflict so take the path of least resistance and yeah just be honest about what just doesn't suit you anymore if you guys chose card number two, you have the two of cups reversed. So this could be you guys having a fallout with someone. It could be you having some sort of argument with somebody, not seeing eye to eye with the person. 
um, or just falling away from something. So let's see, we have the Queen of Wands. So for some of you, that could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius energy. But we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. You guys got a lot of extra cards. Page of Pentacles, Six of Swords in the reverse, and Two of Pentacles. So for some of you, this could be dealing with the Leo, um, Aries, or Sagittarius. Or you could be in a place where even though it's difficult for you to let go of something and you're kind of on the fence about whether you should let it go or not, ultimately you do. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's to start something else that you're passionate about. So you know you have to let something go in order to work on this new thing. Okay? For everyone, it's going to vary what that is. But someone is seeing clearly someone's not stuck in their minds anymore and nobody has that stagnant mindset anymore. So that's awesome. All right. Um, and let's look at the bottom of the deck. So for number two, part of the reason why something may not work out could have been because of some sort of secret that came out, some sort of injustice was done, um, maybe something that you feel wasn't fair was done, so you're just you're not putting effort into something anymore. All right, so last one, guys. If you chose number three, you have the high priestess in the reverse. So off bat, this is really telling you that there's something that you know in your soul, but you're trying to turn a blind eye to it. This is someone who's you know all knowing but in this case they're not 100 percent confident in what they think that they know they're not 100 percent confident in what it is that they feel um this is the sort of person that you, they might not have proof for something that they feel but their soul knows the truth all right so we have the hanged man let's get one more card and we have the two of wands so someone is being very, it's like someone's being very restricted or just being very reserved about something. You see something that you're very passionate about, but it's like you're not sure. Is this good or is this bad? With the hanged man, the good thing about it is despite you not being 100% sure, you're not going to bend over backwards for anything. So it's like you're going to go with the flow even if you're still trying to figure something out. But in this case, with you being reserved and kind of taking your time with something, I feel like that has the best outcome. So I don't necessarily feel like this is anything bad. I think that there's something that you guys are very excited about. You're going to go with the flow. Um, you're not 100% confident if this will work out or not. But because you guys are taking a very, like, uh, you're taking a very grounded approach to it. So that's why I feel like it's going to work out. So I just feel like this is something with time you guys become more sure of. But now it's like, you know what, baby steps. Let me put one foot in front of the other before diving fully in. Okay. All right, guys. So again, happy 420. Happy Taurus season to everybody. If you guys need a personal reading, everything is in the description below, my uh, website, all of that. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Vibrations 44 and follow me on Twitter as well, Bruja Shit. Take care, guys.